another episode of Guy Party. This is beautiful Brad. This is Chester. What does it, Chester? It does good. It's uh, late December, almost Christmas. Yep. The Bengals are still in the playoff hunt, which is unexpected, but we are glad for it. Totally <laughs> unexpected. Turns out our backup quarterback is actually pretty fucking awesome. He's <laughs> uh, Joe Burrow-esque. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, making plays on the run and stuff like that. <clears throat> Which is crazy. <clears throat> I'm drowning in beer right now. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, man, like, who who would have thought? Who would have thought? And here we are. I know sometimes uh, some of the Guy Party pods get posted out of order, but uh, one of the ones that came out after we made her on, we were kind of defeated. It was, like, the Thursday after Mm-hmm. The uh, the Ravens game where Burrow went yeah. down and we were all just like, no, well, you know, season's over, mock draft time. Yeah, yep. and we were talking about like how we're gonna miss like our playoff run pods. Where mm-hmm. now we're kind of kind of back we in might, it. Might yeah. might we might get another playoff <laughs> pod run. It's honestly, it's one of the things that has kept me going through January, the worst fucking month of the year. Same here. <laughs> yeah, I always talk to crickets. It's like, dude. The best part about the past two years is the winters are short because of our playoff runs. Yep, and it's like, especially, I mean, the last couple have gotten into, like, pretty much February, so it's like, by the time that's all said and done, it's like, oh, all right, well, we're we're a a month away from March, and fucking St. Patrick's Day is coming up, yeah. Exactly, and we don't get the uh, winter depression until mid-February, you know, Mm -hmm. after the Bengals fall out. Right, right. For but, sure. But, yeah, well, let, let's see what happens. I mean, this has been fun. A lot of fun. It has been. It has been. It, it's it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the off season. Um, I did hear he's, I, I, I don't know, like, all the the business side of the NFL, but he's some kind of restricted free agent, exclusive yes. rights. Yes. Exclusive ex- rights. Exclusive rights. Which basically, from what I heard, means we just have to throw any money at him, like even league minimum. Yeah. And he has to accept it. He has to. And why that is the case, because somebody asked me about that the other day, mm-hmm. is because he hasn't played six games which he will this season, mm-hmm. which will be his first accrued season or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck I'm looking for. So then that's why we still have rights over him. But after that, yeah. he's good to go. But, so, I mean, you sign him to league minimum, and you could probably get a pretty high draft pick out of him. Or yeah. or hang on to him. Like, I don't want to say pretty high. Like, honest, it depends on what he does the rest of the year. I mean, if he takes us to the Super Bowl, uh, I mean, oh yeah, and, and balls out in, in the Super Bowl, then, yeah, I mean, he's going to get somebody who will bite and, like, give us a second rounder for him or, or maybe even a first. Even but, with, with that being said, do you really give up such a solid backup no. QB? I, like a million dollars for nope. anything less no. than like a first? Yeah, no, no, yeah. And, and I honestly don't even know if I want them to do that. I, I mean, the draft pick is nice, but I mean, if uh, Burrow, I hate to say it, but he's kind of showing a bit of a the injury bug, you yeah. know, that... um. Injury, what do they say? Injury prone. Prone. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, he's a tough dude. He got killed on the Super Bowl run, and he lasted through it. But, I mean, four years to in season-ending injuries. Yeah. And you got this dude under control for less than a mil. Right. You don't give that up unless you somebody gives you some impressive shit. Right. And, and I mean, I think it's okay to roll the dice and then... You know, when he does command that salary, maybe like at the trade deadline next year or something like that, go ahead and, and trade him then. Especially if Joe's still healthy. Yeah. And, and maybe even like either this offseason, or like in the draft or just in, in free agency, get another backup. Yeah. Which, with um, it in mind that you're going to lose Browning. Yeah. With the way the NFL shakes out, I mean, he's going to be with us. It, it'll be his last year. We're going to give him the mill. He's going to be, as especially if he takes us on a run in the playoffs, to have that type of QB on a million-dollar contract, mm-hmm. which sucks for him. But is, Yeah, but, I mean, it's the business. He got his opportunity to where, like, suck it up another year and you're going to make some dough. Right. And hopefully he doesn't see any playing time next year because Burrow takes us to a Super Bowl. But, eh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, I think, uh... That Otani guy. Oh Jesus! Yeah. yeah, he um, when he came over here, he was a big deal. But I don't think he really commanded the kind of salary that you would think. He took a short deal for like, 
you know, good money, but not like highest paid player in the league money. But some people are saying, well, why not take the long deal and get more guaranteed money? He essentially, he was like, I know I'm going to come in there and fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that, but that was the attitude. Like, And it paid off. Fucking 10 years, 700 million. No. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And do you see how he's uh, deferring it? Yeah. Two Which, million a year for next, like, and then just like boom, like sixty-eight mil, sixty-eight mil, sixty-eight mil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is no problem for an LA team. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they've got that cash sitting around. Oh um, yeah. I hope they crash and burn. Like Otani seems like a good dude, but I, I fucking hate LA teams. I hate New York teams. I mean, dude didn't even have to lo- move. <laughs> he was, yeah, he went from one LA team to the other. So, I mean, maybe that factored in for him, but I don't know. But I'm not a big baseball guy, so break it down to me. How does the Los Angeles Angels have Mike Trout and Otani? I don't know what else they have, but how do you suck that fucking bad? Like, I, have they even been in the playoffs? Um, no. No, I, I don't think wow. I think it's been years since they've made the playoffs. Yeah, they won a World Series in the last twenty years. I, I know, and I think it was just with a, a team of cheap players. Really, it wasn't with like a high payroll like they have right now. And if you remember, like they just love dishing out retarded contracts, and and maybe that was why they didn't you know throw out the mega money at Otani, but. They signed Pujols to that crazy oh, deal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and he ended up being like a, a DH for like thirty mil a year. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and and just nowhere near what he was when he was in St. Louis. No, no, not at all. Like I think he may have had a couple seasons with him where he hit like somewhere in between forty and fifty home runs, but then he just started getting injured more and yeah. wearing down, and it's just like I hope these teams realize that. You don't give a guy a 10-year contract. Don't ever give a guy a 10-year contract. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know much about uh, Otani or however the fuck you pronounce it, but I'm sorry. I just fucking hate L.A., and I just hope they bite that shit. Because mm-hmm. fuck L.A., fuck New York. Yeah, the, Basically I, them. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, most teams have, like, that guy, you know, you, you got to have that guy and that's where you put your payroll is, is in the guy that you feel like is going to fill seats mm-hmm. and, and draw viewers. But yeah, like with LA, the Dodgers, they have like eight of those guys. Yeah. So I mean, they didn't need another one. This is a move. This isn't a move to fill seats. It will fill seats, this but is those seats were already, those yeah. seats were already filled. Yeah. And so this is, this is all about, right, getting a title. Yeah. And they've already got titles too. And it's just about dominating and that, it's, that's, yeah. And, and it does, it sucks because it puts small market teams at a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it's one of those things, like, just make the playoffs and hope for the best because you can have the highest payroll team in the league, and especially in baseball, with it being a series, teams get hot. Yeah, we've seen it shake out. Yeah, I mean, even in football, like, teams get hot at the right time. It, like, you've seen the team, like, sneak in as a wild card. That Maybe they, their, their year started off bad. Maybe their quarterback was playing hurt through the first few games, and then he started to tear it up a little bit. But then he went down for the season, and you're like, oops, season's over. But then this other dude came in, and he was really awesome, and then he just carried the team all the way to the Super Bowl and won it. I mean, yeah, some of the most perfect examples is uh, the Giants against Brady. Giants against Brady. Slipping in, uh, fucking them up. <laughs> Nick Foles is who I was actually talking Foles about. Too. But, yeah. but it, And the Nick Foles is like such a parallel to us because Carson Wentz that year was having like an MVP year. Yeah. And then he got hurt, and everybody in, in Philly thought the same thing. And then here comes Foles, and Foles did get a, a deal. He got a, he got a big time deal, if I remember right, out in Arizona. He did, yeah. He yeah. got paid, which I'm kind of getting really excited. I, I hate the fact that Reader went down. That kind of was like, all right, let's lower our expectations. I well, mean, our what's def- our defense doing good, anyways? That's true, <laughs> but I mean, like without Reader, it's gonna be even worse. Yeah, but still, yeah, I mean. They're scraping by, and hell, when Reader went out in the first series, they fucking held the Vikings. Now, granted, it's the Vikings. Mm-hmm. You know, it's no Pat Mahomes or Jalen Hurts or whoever the fuck to up, but I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be fun. It, it's really getting fun again. It I, is. I thought the fun was gone this year, and I'm like, I can't wait for Saturday. It does seem like this team and... I mean, I, I always, I'm very critical of the coaching staff, but 
it does seem like I don't know. There's it's like the team never seems like a team that's out of it. Yeah. Like, like sometimes they play sloppy, but you never really see them like have that defeated look on their face. Like pretty much every Pittsburgh Steeler wears right now. Oh, like yeah. if you watch Pittsburgh games, nobody on that team seems happy right yeah. now. Everyone seems miserable. The old Bengals of the Marvin era, like these games, we knew we wouldn't have a shot. Right. Like it's just weird. Like you've said it before, the pessimistic side still leaks out, but like I'm, it's starting to go away. Like I'm starting to get convinced. Like the Bengals have. A real fucking team. Like, mm. <laughs> fucking real coaches. And I, I, I know that pessimism is still in me because as soon as, like, uh, Minnesota went up, I think it was 14-3. to 3, Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, well, this game's not going to happen. This isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no way they're winning this one. I went to the game, and I'm just like, I need them to win because I want this night to be fun. Right. And I know if they lose, it's just going to be a put a sour fucking mood on everything. Oh, absolutely. I was, um, what were we doing last week? Oh, no, I think I just kept getting drunk. <laughs> yes. I was thinking, like, did I, do, did I do something? Like, <laughs> no. <Nah>. Cheers to that. <laughs> I think I was hard, because I was, uh, I hope nobody I know that I work with is listening to this, but I think I was, because I, I work from home, and I was, uh, working and the game was stressing. I had like my computer and like my TV. Yeah. So as I'm talking, I can watch the game. Mm-hmm. And it didn't get that far into the game, like when the Minnesota started taking that huge lead. And I just was like, beer time. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of it, I know I was talking to my customers drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, don't worry. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and clock in. I'm going to be talking to mine drunk. Like, <laughs> hey, it's Brad. Nice to talk to you this yeah. morning. <laughs> but no, I was wondering. I was like, wait a second. He said he couldn't come to the game, but here he is. He's like, we're, we're fucking like back and forth. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's because I, I was sitting there drinking, like watching the game and talking to my customers. Oh, yeah. I know at one point, like, because obviously, like, when I'm on the phone, I can't be like, fuck! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta play it cool. Yeah, yeah. there was, like, one, um, it might have been the Addison touchdown, the one where he grabbed it low, and then, and, oh, it, and it looked like it was gonna be, like, a an incomplete pass all the way. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so that one, I think, like, I would love to hear the call, because I think you can hear this audible me smacking my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I could think to do. <laughs> 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 it was fucking loud too. <laughs> like I, my head hurt after that. <laughs> We're gonna review this call. You just yeah. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like maybe I wasn't being as quiet as I thought. Like I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm a <laughs> and it's like they like enhance the audio. They have like government like level equipment there to like enhance the audio. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pull your mumbles up. Yeah. <laughs> Stick in my fucking ass. <laughs> God damn you, my fucking ass. <laughs> it's like, wait, is he being sexual towards the customers? It's like, no, it's just watching the fucking bangles. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, ha you're fired anyways. You're not supposed to be watching TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're not even supposed to be on your damn phone. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, it's... So, I'll probably be doing that at least at the beginning part of the game this week. Yeah, at least it's more towards the end of your shift this week. I don't even know if I'll be able to watch the game after my shift, though. Why? I know we have a bit of uh, shopping to do, and it's, it's going to have to wait until I get paid on Friday. And... Th- this is where you say, no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send your, your Have phone. you ever tried to shop on Christmas Eve? It sucks. It's well, Christmas 23rd. Christmas Eve Eve is yes, it, but it's still gonna suck. But you, why do you have to go? You tell her. <laughs> you wait till after that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe well, hey, we'll see how it shakes out. But yeah, well, I and I mentioned to her that you wanted to have uh, Silver at Luke's. I, I threw it out there, but I was like, eh, it's a long shot. We're gonna go shopping on Friday night. That's for sure because I get paid on Friday. We're gonna go shopping on Friday. We can get it all done then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the main thing is just making sure we're all good to go there. Yeah, I, I'm not expecting to see you, but it would be cool to see you mm-hmm. for a game. Hell but, yeah. You know. 
Oh yeah, I, uh, did I tell you that like I was gonna do that thing for Amber, like writing like a, a short story about us like going on an adventure as a family? Oh, I, you might have. Yeah, I, I don't know where I got the idea from, but I've been thinking about it for a while. I think I, I was even considering it around an, our anniversary time. I think you did actually. Yeah, so I finished it. It's, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's 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 not like I think the the technical term is novelette. <laughs> not, not even novella, novelette, because uh, it's uh, right around 15,000 words. I might add to it later, but for right now, it's it's done, and I need to get it printed out because I want to like, hand her a physical copy. Yeah. But it's funny, but, man, I'm, I'm fucking one note as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's talking about coming and, <laughs> and like, partying and doing drugs. <laughs> and the kids and everything right there. And it's just like, oh, man. <laughs> I can't write anything else. <laughs> yeah, well, Guy Party is kind of one note. Like, we, we've got our, our thing, and that's, that's what happens. It's... Well, there's, like, calm. That's a note. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, partying, partying, that's a note. Drinking, I kind of think that's, they're kind of the same, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you could be more sports. specific. Sports, yeah. Adventures. Adventures, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. Philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, my writing is ridiculously one note, but, you know what, I fucking love it and enjoy it, and I hope she does, too. <laughs> yeah, hey, booze heads, I'm, I'm gonna put a fucking vote once this one gets posted in the guy party chat and if you guys see it vote if you want to hear some of chester's stories on the pod because i i kind of want to have him read them yeah no um i do need it i want to um get a printout of uh the adventures of dick gordon my first one and just go through the individual chapters maybe like make each pod like do yeah. it like a pod per chapter yeah. kind of a thing and I, then... I would love to do that i mean if you send it to me i read it but it would be fun to just put it out there in the world and you know i'm not worried about it getting plagiarized because it's so retarded nobody would think to do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i've been hanging out with somebody and uh through the grapevine she heard about the pod mm -hmm. and she's like oh i might have to listen to this one i'm like no you don't want to listen to it trust me you really don't want to listen to it mm -hmm. she's like well i also heard somebody's fucking boyfriend was on it and their girlfriend listened to it and they broke up with him i'm like Sounds possible. Don't know the details. Don't want to know the details. I don't give a fuck. Sounds good. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> it's like, are we just getting a bad rap and we don't even really have any like evidence to prove that? Guy but... Party are the bad boys of Claremont County. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, well, man, it's possible. You know, it's filthy. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I would recommend it, but whatever. It's my sense of humor, and, and I know it's your sense of humor, yeah, and it's uh, it's a lot of them. Like, there's people out there that love this style of humor, like the offensive, crude kind of humor, but mm -hmm. it's almost like you're afraid to say it in the in this day and age because people will judge you for it, you yeah. know? And I don't think... And, and I would be totally open to being corrected about this. Not by Michael Benjamin, but... <laughs> <laughs> the derailer from right. the Galeons. All right, all right. <laughs> I feel like even when we, like, use, like, offensive terms or, you know, offensive jokes or anything like that, it's coming from a, a good place. It's not coming from hatred. Yeah, yeah. And so, like I said, if, if somebody else has gotten that impression, then, you know, let us know. And But whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, I wasn't... I like when she told me that. I just kind of laughed. I'm like, yeah. Sounds, <laughs> <laughs> sounds I, right. I totally got in trouble for like one of my our, my first like kind of like uhs. Like I wouldn't even call it an argument or anything like that. But like one of the first times I think Amber wasn't happy with me was um, listening to the pod that we recorded a couple weeks before I met her. And in that pod, I'm like, no, I don't want kids. I would <laughs> never date a woman with kids. La, 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 la. And I'm just like. And I tell her, and like, I dug you so much that I was willing to, you know, to, to make it work. Yeah. I mean, things changed. I mean, that totally. pod was... I mean, honestly, when it came out, it was probably a year before you met, or really got serious with her. So, you know, like... I didn't think I'd randomly meet, like, the coolest person on the planet in a bar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So... Or, or, like, somebody with kids that you really wanted to fucking yeah. spend your life with. So, right. You know, I mean, shit happens. Things change.
like what we say now doesn't mean that's going to define us as people or where we're going. But. Oh yeah, and and that's what that's what I tell you too. Yeah, I mean, you ch- I, I changed. I mean, it, it's you know I hadn't considered it, and I was kind of cocky about it, but <laughs> I fucking changed. Yeah, and I'm I'm sorry for whoever was listening and their girlfriend heard it and they dumped you, but yeah. You know, oh wait a minute, it's, they're saying like not somebody who's on the pod, but just somebody who listens to the pod. <laughs> Is that what they're saying? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get, oh, I didn't get okay. all the detail, but that'd be, be that awesome. Would like, <laughs> well, yeah, like he, he's outside working on the garage, and he's got his like AirPods in, and the wife comes out. She's like, "What are you doing?" And like an AirPod falls out. He like makes everything okay, and then she picks. up He the runs Air- like he's ashamed of listening to guy party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh. He's like, "No, don't look at my phone." Yeah, yeah. Like, like he's, he's like deleting the search history and shit. Doing something weird, like <laughs> looking at midget porn. <laughs> <everybody>. <laughs> This party podcast. <laughs> she, she picks up the AirPod and she presses play for like fucking five minutes. Right. Just hears our voices, just fucking going at it. <laughs> Hell yeah! She's like, I, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> you need to move out. Like, he's like, what? Is, like, what is this you're listening to? <laughs> and it's like he puts it in. And he's listening. He's like. I don't know. I don't listen to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a button or something. <laughs> nah, nah, that's that's unfortunate if something like that happened. But you know what? I say it's unfortunate, but I say it's a good thing because if your chick isn't down with Guy Party and you are, then it's not going to work out. Yeah, it's definitely not going to work. I mean, I, I feel like you kind of have to have a... I mean, you never want to be exactly like your partner, but you want to have a few similarities, and I think sense of humor is is a an important one for sure. Especially if you're listening to this shit. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> like you got a silly sense of humor. I mean, it's a toilet humor, but whatever. Like if Taylor Swift was hanging out with Travis Kelsey. And you know how, like, you get in the car and, like, sometimes, like, your uh, Bluetooth or whatever will just pick up whatever was playing the last on your phone mm-hmm. and, like, continue it or whatever on the speakers? Yeah. Like, yeah, he gets in his car and, like, Guy Party comes on. And <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Luke gave me one of those examples. He said he, he was working, the company he was working for is, like, big time mm. in Cincinnati. Mm, okay. And, and he had, like, one of the, the people in there and... He forgot that he had Guy Party on play in the goddamn fucking... So the guy gets in there and he starts it up and it was just like talking about sucking dicks and... Yeah. <laughs> and he's trying to change it again. <laughs> <laughs> see, see that's that's what I'm saying. Like, and that happens with Kelsey, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And <laughs> does Taylor Swift have the same sense of humor, or does Kelsey even have that kind of? Sen- she seems like kind of um, bland mm-hmm. <laughs> to me. Like, I mean, that's that's a horrible word to describe a person, but she seems just dull. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I got a little bit more background on. Um, What's her name? Uh, Taylor Swift. She grew up on a Christmas tree farm. So I feel like her life was spent singing Christmas carols and just the perfect, like, Hallmark fucking life. Right. And I'm guessing uh, that Training Claus is Coming to Town was not one of the Christmas carols she sang. (laughs) Absolutely not. (laughs) I feel like they voted for Trump and they probably had Trump banners. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're that kind of people, like hardcore Trumpers. Like, we're at the Capitol. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever. <laughs> you see, like, you find out, like, later on, they use, like, FBI, like, facial recognition, and Taylor Swift was fucking there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she had, like, the fucking makeup on. Yeah. She ended up being the shaman. Yes. <laughs> She's like a billionaire, so she pinned it on what's his face. Didn't the shaman like have his shirt off at one point or something? He he did. Yeah, so yeah, like that'd be great if you find out that she was a shaman and like all these like thirsty dudes gave back to the picture they thought was a dude there (laughs) without his shirt on, but it's actually her. And now that they know it's her, they jerk off to it. it, it, (laughs) It's just a sports bra, and she had a really good artist draw like man pecs. (laughs) I was just thinking her tits were that small, but. But yeah, I mean, they are, because, I mean, 
I, I don't think they're huge, but I mean, you still gotta flatten down a little bit. That's true. That's true. Because she's it, got it, a little bumps. Yeah. 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, well, God, I, uh, we were gonna try to bring her down to our level, but she might already be there. <laughs> yeah, well, we just threw her right into the fire. So, um, and I know that our listeners have to be just about as tired as we are about hearing about Taylor Swift. Oh my God! But that's why we're doing this pod so that we can fix this problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, all, um, just sidebar, did I send you that screenshot that, um, you know how, like, Al Michaels suddenly isn't going to be calling playoff games? Yeah, yeah. And and there's a thought that he said something not even that bad. It, yeah. was, it was like, he said something like, it's important that the sideshow not become the show. Yeah. Which basically, to me, is like, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, you you want this to be about football. This isn't about Taylor Swift. Mm. And obviously nobody's going to say yes, that's why we did it, or what, that's why this is happening, but, I mean, shit. Yeah, I mean, it feels like we're about to get Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey shoved down our throats for a month and a half. Oh, we are. We absolutely <laughs> are, yeah. They are going to rig that shit to mm-hmm. fucking hell and back. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I actually, that being the case, I really hope we don't get them in the first round, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give us a couple of fucking rounds. Right, right. So, knowing that the NFL is going to just shove it down our throats and that we're sick of it, it's time that Guy Party intervene. And, I mean, Taylor Swift, you know, she's not going away anytime soon, right? No. I mean, people aren't going to get tired of her. Like, she's not going to just, like, fade away into obscurity without a little push. And so, what I feel like we need to do, and this is, this is what we talked about, we got to get her down to our level... We have to degenerate Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get her down to our level so that people will just be like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, essentially cancel. Yeah, like, just disgusting. Mm-hmm. You're just a fucking belligerent. Like, we don't want anything to do with you. Right, right. So, I feel like there's a couple ways we can go about this, right? Could we trick her into saying something not woke? Mm, I mean, we gotta also keep in mind this chick... Went on tour this past summer. I never knew who the fuck she was until mm-hmm. she was coming to Cincinnati. I really didn't. Apparently, she made a billion dollars on this tour. Yeah. So how do you cancel a billion dollar industry? <laughs> I mean, even if she says the N word, I think she could be like, "Oh, fucking Kanye put that on my fucking," you know. Like. Okay, so I think what you're saying is step one: she needs to lose her money. Well. Is that how we spiral out? Like, how do you take a billion dollars from a billionaire? Like, I got an idea. Okay, all right, let's hear it. <laughs> all right, so we'll get into the specifics of this in a minute. <laughs> but here's the general idea. Okay. We stage some sort of, like, a traumatic event. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe a mugging or an attempted murder or something like that. And our dear friend... Michael Benjamin <laughs> will save the day. Okay. Yeah. All right. I want right. to hear how it plays out. Right, right. So then Michael Benjamin is now her knight in shining armor. Okay. So I think in order for this to work, it's got to be something like, we have to have like Travis Kelsey like smack her or something like that. And then Michael stand up for her honor and then, you know, get punched into the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> So Michael gets punched in the hospital? Yeah, and then Taylor's like, oh, like, she goes to see him. Is he still wearing his Riddle Bengals helmet? (laughs) (laughs) He wasn't when Travis hit him. (laughs) But what brought on Travis hitting that's the, that's the details we'll okay. fi- we can oh, okay. figure out. Okay. Okay. But the idea is that the two fall for each other. we got to get her with Michael Benjamin yes. <laughs> and, and, and get him access to her money so that he may gamble it away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to where she's not a billionaire To where she's not a billionaire anymore. And they're just throw her away. Right, right. right. You're and not like, rich enough for us to care anymore. Right. <laughs> like, she has to move in with Michael at his, his dad's house. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> From Empire to fucking nothing. <laughs> I love it. Yes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, Travis Kelsey, pissed. Like, maybe, like, smacks Taylor or something like that. Michael, uh, like, intervenes, gets punched. But we got 
We gotta figure out what... We have to get them there. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. I know you like to go to the end game, but we have to get them there on this one especially. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's not just gonna ride up and smack her. Yeah. Alright, so... This might involve kidnapping Taylor Swift. Are you okay with that? I'm absolutely okay with that, but how does the kidnapping of Taylor Swift persuade Kelsey to slap her? Because we're going to brainwash her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do the thing where you, like, glue the eyelids, like, the eyelids to, like, the eyebrows, and, and you know, so the eyes are bulging open and you, you can't fucking blink. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put, like, a TV screen on and just... Okay, now, help me out here. What do we put... I mean, my initial thought was Michael Benjamin stand up, but then she might recognize the voice when he's in the hospital. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking, why are we kidnapping her? To brainwash her. But why are what we... What is the, the end game, right? So, well, the, the, what's we, the initial, like, why? Like, why are we trying to brainwash her? Because we want to brainwash her to say some really annoying shit. Oh, just to take her out and make her a boost up. Well, I mean, like, to, to get on Kelsey's nerve to the point that he smacks her. Yeah. Unless that's maybe a little convoluted. The idea is that we have a well-timed event where we know that, uh, you know, uh, just based on our, our groundwork, that Kelsey is going to, I don't want to say slap because that just seems too aggressive, but maybe like pushes her or something like that. And then Michael Benjamin intervenes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I know we want to make her a booze head, but if she fucking blows all her money, what good is she to us? Yeah, why did we want her? Oh, oh no, we just we just wanted to go away. Okay, all right, all right, there, there we go. There we go. I was trying. Yeah, you're right. I was trying to figure out the end game. Yeah, we just wanted her to go away. We just go, yeah, all right. Yeah. We, we're tired of the NFL rigging it to where the Bengals can't win because they want Taylor Swift in the goddamn uh, Super Bowl. Right. So we just need to break them up. That's really the end end game there. But yeah, it would be cool to degenerate her, though. <laughs> yeah, well, which we're going to do, because that's the only way we're going to get her out of the NFL from rigging the Chiefs, because they want the Taylor Swift experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do what we talked about with Michael, or even one of us, well, and like, and instead of like making Taylor fall in love with us, because that's a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially coming from a Christmas tree farm. Right, right. And from what I was spoke about earlier where people were listening to their dudes listening to guy party and they broke up with them right so yeah yeah that that is definitely a stretch all right so maybe then we could do the same kind of thing like set up something to where taylor swift feels sorry for us and then visits us in the hospital and then like we ask her like to hang out with us just as like instead of like suing her or something like that like maybe like we get hurt at one of her shows or something like that but I'm just thinking, like, the end game there is that she wants to hang... Like, we get convince her to hang out with us, and then we, you know, uh, do LSD with her or something like that, and, like, just expose her to, like, Luke for 15 hours straight. What kind of stand-up act would Taylor Swift be at to where, like, MB could rig it? To where MB would fucking sabotage the set... And he, what, I don't know. I, I'm reaching. No, no, here. no, no. I'm reaching here. No, no, no. I, I, I kind of feel where you're going with that one. Like he gets up and like knocks a dude out and takes his place as like the opener to like Kevin Hart or yeah. something like that. <laughs> to where like he's um, pissed off Kelsey and Kelsey's annoyed, and but Taylor's like thinking like, oh my god, like. MRDD, like this guy, he needs our help. Like even if he's out of control, <laughs> but I, I don't know that why that would set Kelsey off. Okay, another thing that we could do, if the idea is just to break the two of them up, like maybe we could just like either learn to pit pocket really well, or like find somebody who does it, mm -hmm. and then like get a hold of her phone and program one of our phone numbers into there. There you go. And then just, like, do a bunch of texts back and forth and, like, dick pics and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be the pickpocket? Who's going to do it? 
I don't know who's got quick hands. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, let's bring back Bobo. Yeah, we, we haven't talked about Bobo in a Bobo's while. Bobo's a, um, a pickpocket because that's the lifestyle he had to live as a poor black boy in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, <laughs> he is, he's a Michael Benjamin uh, inspired, like, a minion. Like, he's looking up to him. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Bobo pickpockets, and we start, a, like, a text chain between one of us and Taylor. Yeah. And then what we do is, like, Find um one of those really bad cropped nudes of Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like those fake ones. Uh-huh. Like a really bad one. And then like send that to Kelsey and be like, oops, that was for someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, those fucking bad texts go wrong. (laughs) (laughs) When you accidentally send your dick pic to your mom. (laughs) 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 Alright, so so now the second part of this is Bobo returning the phone to Taylor without her really noticing. Yes. Like, without, like, maybe, like, putting it into a place where she's like, oh, I left it here. Instead of thinking, oh... This was stolen. <laughs> How did that original Michael uh, joke go? Like, all I could see was the lights of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He ran over a little black boy in the car, and all you could see were the whites of his eyes. Or something. I, I, it's horrible. It's so weird because he's so, like, woke. <laughs> like, he's always getting on us for stuff like that. And then he goes out and writes... The most, one of the most racist jokes I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, so there's Bobo, and I'm just picturing, like, have you been at the Taft where it can get kind of dark? And mm-hmm. Yeah, so he just, like, slides it back in, right back into Taylor's yep. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and it's Bobo's dick. <laughs> and he's not even hard, and it's, like, really small. <laughs> it's like, who are you fucking? <laughs> it's like seeing Michael's fucking cock at uh, Guy Party Fest 1. It's just like this little The black... nub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kelsey sees it. And he's like, what the f- You're too timing me for this? <laughs> <laughs> and that is just completely demoralizing. And, and then I'm just going to add this in there because... It's fun. <laughs> he sees a small dick like, you're two-timing me for that? Even Mahomes' dick is bigger. It's like implying a- that it's small. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, Mahomes I- has the smallest one in the locker room. And <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've never seen one this small. <laughs> and then, like, maybe get, like, a stock photo, another one. Like, after, like, the, the soft penis. And it's like, I'm a grower, not a shower. And it's like a fucking, like, 13-inch dong. <laughs> <laughs> So he gets sad as he's yelling at her. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so maybe we just break them up and let nature take its course. <laughs> like, like, as far as like getting her down to our level. I feel like he's got a slapper though, right? Because then he gets booted from the NFL. Oh, we want. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because then like, Ray the Rice ba- and her. Yeah, the Bengals start fucking rolling on like Super Bowls. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, so then, God, this is gonna sound insensitive, but maybe we just set it up exactly like Ray Rice and get them in together in an elevator <laughs> with an agi- somebody agitating them. They already got the screen deck. Like, he's already about to smack her. Like, maybe we put Bobo in an elevator with him. Like, because all you saw was his dick. You don't know his face. But then, like, he just turns towards him and pulls his pants down. And he's like, recognize this, Travis. (laughs) 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 And then Travis goes to smack him. Like, punch him. But then, like, he grabs Taylor and just puts her in front of him as a shield. <laughs> oh, shit. And then it's, it's just, like, the doors, the elevator doors hit, like, the right floor and it opens. Right as, like, Kelsey is, like, punching Taylor Swift. And all you see is, like, Bobo with his pants off. <laughs> like, holding her in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's this really is a lover's to... quarrel gone wrong. Yeah, he's really trying to hit Bobo, but yeah, he hits her. <laughs> Gets Bobo 
I such a coward? <laughs> <laughs> he puts the bitch in front of him so he doesn't take the hit. <laughs> that was never the plan at all. <laughs> it just worked out in our favor. Yeah. <laughs> He just levels her, dude. Right. Like, a Kelsey getting uh, fucking suspended forever is just a bonus. So, they're broke up. Oh, absolutely they are. But, now we've got victim, like, Taylor Swift's skyrocketing at the same time. But she's no longer connected to the NFL. Yes. So, is that what we were wanting? Yeah. I just don't want her shoved down her throats anymore. I don't care about the little teenage girls having her. (laughs) I thought also we were going to try to degenerize her. But yeah, I guess that works. We got rid of her. She's, she's gone. I'm down to bring her down to our level. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this level, Kelsey beat her. So, and not intentionally. Kelsey didn't really try to beat her. It was Bobo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo was a, a slick moving man. Mm-hmm. Just, just tricked the cameras. Right. <laughs> Like, what are those magician, uh, David Copperfield? Yeah, like, it made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made it look like Kelsey was beating on fucking Taylor Swift. He's the one man that can make his penis disappear. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa. And then just, like, shrinks into, like, this mound of pubes. <laughs> no, you can see it's a bush, and it just looks like he's a lady. I want to get back to the original plan, though, but I think we've already got uh, it. To, to where Michael somehow saves her, and then they degenerize. Maybe she, uh, I don't know. I mean, we got her out of the NFL, so that's like, what we Maybe, wanted. like, the elevator door's open, and Michael's there. And, and, like, Bobo just runs off and scurries without his pants on. <laughs> and, like, security chases him. Taylor Swift's like, ah, crying. And then Travis Kelsey, like... Ah. <laughs> well, nobody pays attention to it because, like, all TMZ wants is the Travis Kelsey punch to Taylor Swift. When really, like, the uh, elevator door's open, but Michael's pants are already down. He just starts peeing on fucking Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> his cock is already left. <laughs> It's like, it's just as soon as the elevator doors open, there's urine. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just hitting his feet because his cock's so small. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh my god, there's two of them. <laughs> and like, there's no audio on this. And Kelsey's like, why? Well, he just start going with bananas. Maybe, like, it gets to the floor, right, and Michael steps in after he's done pissing on him. And, like, Travis is just like, like, <laughs> And, like, he takes a swing at Michael, and then Taylor stands up and gets hit again. <laughs> <laughs> but when the, the elevator's doors open, does Michael still have his riddle helmet on? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what really happens, like, he punches him in the head, but his helmet's there, and, and Kelsey just breaks his hand in, like, six places. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Michael with his pants still off like picks up Taylor Swift and he's like holding her in his arms like carrying her out like I'll rescue you babe yeah. <laughs> meanwhile you see Bobo just running down the hall <laughs> <laughs> and then and then that's the shot like the press gets like Michael holding her with his pants off <laughs> <laughs> just looks like a little raisin there <laughs> He's got his helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's like, it's, it's hitting Fox News. It's like, why was a man standing at the elevator without any clothes? <laughs> <laughs> why is there suddenly a rise in pantsless men? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mob hits are on the rise. Like, it's all uh, gangster related. They're trying to spin it. Like. There's a gang of just small dick dudes out there. <laughs> the small dick dude game. Michael's the leader. He, he, he <laughs> Assembled him through the hobo net. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> small dick dudes never pleased the women, so they turned to booze to satisfy their needs, and they ended up homeless into the hobo net. And then Michael starts a cult. Yeah. <laughs> Which is another episode. <laughs> Michael starts a cult. A small dick dudes. <laughs> yeah. Small dick cult. <laughs> Our dicks may be small, but our will is mighty. Yeah. (laughs) 
here's Taylor. <laughs> yeah, they're all just like sitting there with their little cocks out. Like they're still like they're Winnie the Pooh in, right? So sh- or Donald Duck in like the shirts, no pants, with their cocks out, and they're just like Taylor. Taylor, Taylor. <laughs> and then they bring her out. She, she comes up from the ground. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any Taylor songs, but I know the new one. One inch is all I need. <laughs> one inch is all I need. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> one inch is all I need. You don't need any more than that. <laughs> any more than that is painful and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Little girls hear what I say. <laughs> Look, yeah. <laughs> God party, God party. <laughs> a lot of our uh, pods end in like a bunch of dudes chanting something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got there, so Kelsey's gone. We got rid of Swift, but Swift is now. I mean, like even though everyone was championing for her, but she fell in love with Michael and the small dick cult. Right. So like she she's like doesn't worry about the NFL anymore. Like, the Bengals got a legit run. Everyone's got a legit run. But she still, like, goes out and performs. But the small dick cult, like, has, like, their own section at her concerts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole goddamn fucking, like, the high premium seats. Right. Like, all there. Right. And, like, security, like, like makes them show their penis. So <laughs> just, to, just to prove it. They're like, come on, pants down. And, like, some dude is, like, trying to, like, suck it back or somehow. And they're like, nope, hips forward. And, they, and it, like, you see, like, a three-inch dick just go, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, sir, not in here. <laughs> None of that average penis is in here. I've never seen, like, a um, big style concert to where, like, they have the dancers and shit. But I feel like Taylor's doing a show. And she, uh, you know, she comes to the park. She's like, I've got a one-inch man. Or how's the song going? <laughs> Mike, All I starts, need is one inch. All I need is one inch. And then Michael starts walking down with the riddle helmet. It's got all the cracks and, like, <laughs> burn marks from, from the guy party years. <laughs> It's got like the imprint of Kelsey's Super Bowl ring. Yeah. <laughs> it's got Casey. <KC. laughs> it's got Paul the Possum scratches on it. <laughs> he's just like walking down. You know, he's got his hairy ass chest and he's like in some tidy whiteies or something. And it's like, everybody, please welcome to the stage <laughs> the small dick dude choir. <laughs> 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 and it's like a collective, like, one inch is all I need. <laughs> Any more and I'll start to bleed. Fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 There we go. <laughs> Gets back on top. <laughs> So I feel like all we're doing is empowering the, the one-inch dick crew. Oh, I mean, when you have a celebrity, like I've been watching this uh, documentary on Netflix about cults, and it's like like how to build a cult. like, And it's like just taking like how real cults were built, and like, this is what this guy did, this is what you should do. Mm-hmm. It's like a fucking instruction manual. And one of the things is like, your leader needs to have celebrity status, so... I mean... There it is. Right there. Yeah. (laughs) You'll have dudes like in um, Heaven's Gate. They weren't supposed to fuck or something like that. And so the dudes uh, started castrating themselves because they just didn't want the temptation. Really? Yeah. I'm just imagining like a dude like, can I get a dick reduction surgery, please? (laughs) (laughs) I want to be part of this crew. I want to hang out with Taylor. (laughs) (laughs) You got like a big, nice fucking seven inch dong. Oh yeah. Like solid, (laughs) thick. Like, they're like, no, sir. (laughs) Make, make it smaller. Yeah. I want, I want them platinum seats. <laughs> they almost like do World War uh, or not not World War uh, Civil War reenactments where they come on in the tent. They 
put your fucking seven inch dick down, they chop off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take like a hot iron and. <laughs> My, Michael sits there, like combing his beard, watching us, like, yes. He, he takes like the severed dong and like adds it to a collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of like winds back to like the apocalyptic Michael where he had all the cocks around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, he, yeah, he's like almost Charlie Manson. Like he's like, I'm gonna bring upon the end of the world. And, and they even try like one of those like suicides. Like, there's, like, Kool-Aid su- suicides, but, like, none of them understand chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't mix it right So enough. it's just, like, Sunny D with, like, Imodium AD or something like yeah. that. It mixed with, like, uh, oh, it's the diarrhea stuff. Uh, like, a laxative. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, yeah. a laxative. And so they're all just shitting everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you failed us. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even kill yourself, right? <laughs> Let me tell you a joke. <laughs> Start passing out guns. <laughs> There's not any bullets. <laughs> they forgot the bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's getting pissed. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to live. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Can I have my penis back, please? <laughs> it's on the wall over there. <laughs> I can see it. I'm killing all the breeders with their big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he, he makes it so, like, his mastermind, like, goal, like, the Bond villain goal is to find as many big dick dudes as he can and, like, either kill them or castrate them to bring down the average. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To where he is, like, the alpha only penis. Sli- only slightly small. <laughs> Come on, we're, we're not getting him to be, like, the biggest dick in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be tough. <laughs> like, maybe if it was, like, him and a bunch of biological women. But he's got Taylor <laughs> on his side. I that's mean, true. Taylor can maybe bring him in. But here's what I'm thinking, like, dudes listen to Taylor Smith, I feel like... Taylor Smith. Taylor <laughs> Swift. I feel like because they're trying to, like, fuck their girlfriends, right? I mean... Besides, well, besides the gay ones, there might be some gay ones. Yeah. But do you feel like there's a ton of like straight dudes that are like all about Taylor Swift? Like, yeah, no, no, mm. I can't imagine. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be because you're trying to fuck your girl. Right. So if like your girl's like, I love Taylor Swift so much, I'm joining her cult, and I think you should too. And your penis is too big, so they're gonna have to cut it down. But all the girls love Taylor, so they're like, you gotta come hang out at this place. So you think they're going to take him by surprise? Yeah, they're like, mm. if you want to fuck me, you need to cut your dick off. Right, right. That's that's the uh, alternate Spice Girls song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be my lover, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, gotta cut, cut off, off your, your dick. dick. <laughs> 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 that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Making things forever, just like Michael Benjamin. (laughs) (laughs) You can't penetrate me, so maybe lick my (laughs) clit. They're going to, like, go back thousands of years from now and, like, look at men's penises and they're no bigger than clits and wonder why. They'll have a a graph and it's like... (laughs) <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like, like not even like that. Like, it's like a straight drop. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, MRDD, like, what is it? Mental retardation. <laughs> but they end up classifying that, like, species or race, almost like Neanderthal. Hmm? It is, the, like, the Sendermans and why right, they got right. like that. <laughs> it's like evolution splits right there. <laughs> <laughs> because that does happen honestly with certain species like if you look at like the ancient apes like they split and it's like gorillas and orangutans Mm -hmm. and it just kept on splitting so it feels like eventually humanity will split yeah (laughs) and taylor swift and michael benjamin are gonna create it they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna foster it in and they're gonna bring it way faster than anyone thought yeah (laughs) <laughs> fucking uh long after we just nuke the world and fucking like we're just left to dust or whatever like some aliens gonna come up to our planet and like dig up our bones or something like that oh, yeah. and they're gonna just like be like so fucking confused <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck 
They, <laughs> they'll be like, sir, we just obtained a recording of a podcast called Guy Party, and we, yeah. we believe it has all the answers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all this fucking rambling. <laughs> you hear that um, third man on their podcast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, we believe that uh, this episode where they discuss a, a person named Taylor Swift was a turning point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of cool to level the playing field a little bit. I mean, like, if Michael wants to take out, like, top 10% dongs or something like that and lower the average to maybe, like, four inches, I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah, well, <laughs> that would work for me a lot. <laughs> 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 we like we get a part like a sniff of his master plan and we just kind of let him go for a little bit yeah it's just like, yeah make our dicks look big right <laughs> and then we, we like we send our james bond in yeah but Ca- captain guy party <laughs> yeah <laughs> agent excuse me agent guy party yeah yeah at the same time it's like oh he's sniffing out big dongs but I feel like we should continue this on another episode of Guy. <laughs> oh, okay. You want you want to tag uh, Michael versus the Big Dongs? Yeah, Michael, <laughs> Michael versus the Big Dongs. <laughs> the um, we just have it like his like Mortal Kombat fights. Yeah, <laughs> and the very first one is him versus Stephen Dale. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, let's wrap this one up, and we will revisit this fucking. Okay, so Insanity. are we sold on the plan to have Bobo steal Taylor's phone? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything's played out. The elevator scene. Yeah, like, he's got Taylor Swift on his side now. He has created the small dick cult. <laughs> so, yeah, the small dick cult, as big as Taylor is, and she is into it because Michael saved her from Travis's aggressiveness yeah twice twice he, he hit her he, he hit her twice yeah so he, both times he was targeting retards yeah, yeah. <laughs> like god dude uh, not the sidebar <laughs> but that um that fucking uh quantum leap thing you sent me I'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> and he was in the mirror like oh my god i just like dude when i saw it, i don't know where the fuck it came from i'm like this guy party is Retarded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look how serious. You're fucking both of your ears and fucking Downs, dude. And even the dude with Down syndrome looked bummed. <laughs> like, like, I know. They can be happy. They are, they are happy people. They're usually yeah. pretty happy. Like, they yeah. looked really bummed. Like, they were like, okay. You just found out you're retarded. <laughs> Be really depressed about it. Yeah. <laughs> like God, like what was the direction they gave that kid? <laughs> like, God damn it! How, how do you even get a kid on board for that? Right? <laughs> no, no. How do you get his fucking parents on board for that? <laughs> I always wondered about that too. Like even like. Casting the fat girl. You remember, um, since we're on holidays, um, Home Alone, Mm -hmm. do you remember, like, Kevin, like, picks up a picture of Buzz's girlfriend, and it's just, like, this girl, and he's like, Buzz's girlfriend? Ugh! Yeah! Woof! Yeah! And it's just, like, this normal looking, like, fucking 14 year old girl or (laughs) something. It's like, god damn! And she's (laughs) always gonna be known as, ugh, (laughs) woof! It's like, that girl, I'm pretty sure at some point in her life, had an eating disorder. Oh, yeah. I don't know which one. I'm going to guess the one that starts with the letter B. <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> I'm saying that that girl had an eating disorder yeah. because that was unfair to her. I know, for real. Like, like, how much did she even get paid for that? Yeah, what? And she wasn't in it. She was just a picture of her. Yeah, and she's always got to think of that. I, yeah, she's probably smoking hot. I bet she is. Yeah, be- <laughs> because of that moment. Right, right. Well, I mean, a lot of girls, a lot of people, when they're, like, teenagers, like, are plump and then, like, lean out. No, I mean, like, whatever you are as a teenager is... Like, fast forward 10 years, most people don't look a goddamn thing like it. Yeah, yeah, that is so true. 
But yeah, no, I mean, the point is, is that, yeah, that's pretty fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where, where were we at with that? All right, so we're going to wrap this one up, yeah. and then we are going to come back with... Small Dick Cult. Small Dick Cult is, like, fucking taking over the town. Cutting Think, dicks. Yeah, cutting dicks. We, we got... Things are happening. Um, they are creating trannies at, like, a fucking rapid rate. What was that, um... Oh, God, my mind is... Bride. Um, <laughs> what's that girl that hid in the attic in the Jews in the Jew time? And Frank. Yeah. <laughs> in the Jew time, you know. Yeah. That, that, that 3,000 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Jew time. <laughs> World War II. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Jew time. <laughs> but you knew exactly where I was going with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We got a, like a fucking bl- a bunch of black dudes like hiding up in attics. Yeah. I feel like we should make sneakers the due time. Like, it's like-, <laughs> <laughs> like with the years, like 2000 BC to 2024. 20- Instead of a Nike swoosh, it's like a Star of David. Yes, swoosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, still, it still has like a little like whoosh okay. at the end of it. Yeah, <laughs> makes it look like a shooting star. All right, booze heads. All right, we're getting we're so just uh, shocked. Oh, today. we're we're gonna get even fucking stupider when we come back. Yeah, because we're gonna have more beer in us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks for tuning in. Spread the fucking word and guy party forever. And Woo! until the next episode, guy, guy party. party!